Hey there, Sharon Hornell from here. Welcome to day 31 of the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge, where we're doing one thing every day to get what we want out of life. Get what you want, I'm doing one thing every day to get what I want out of life. And today our topic is P is for dot, dot, dot. P is for blank. P is for progress in the SOAP framework. Progress meaning, how do we know? How do we know if we're moving toward what we want, toward our goal, away from our goal, or just staying the same? There's a lot of different ways, and we'll talk about those throughout the course of this year. But my default is, if it's a hard thing to measure, if I didn't get a specific result on the action that I took, and yesterday I did take some action, and I did get specific results. I set up appointments for my echocardiogram and my doctor appointment my, uh, to see my surgeon. And so in February and April, I will be going to those appointments. So I did make progress. I did move toward my goal of feeling better about this heart surgery and making sure that it all goes as smoothly as I can possibly make it go. So what if I didn't have a specific action that I'd taken that I could see the result right away? You know, it, the, the thing I picked to do, I knew it was either going to happen or not happen a pretty easy thing, right? All I did was call, make some phone calls and schedule appointments. And that's okay because I know that I made progress because I got a result. Sometimes we'll find ways to measure whether we're moving toward our goal or not. Other times it's a lot more subjective or a lot more intuitive. And so my default is always, how does the action make me feel? How did the action that I took make me feel? If it makes me feel negative in any way, it's probably not moving me toward what I want, right? Because anything that feels bad is things that we want to move away from, not toward. And then if it makes me feel good or positive or neutral, then I don't make a decision about it yet. I don't decide, I do something else, I take another action. So the SOAP framework is something, it's, it's a cycle, right? We do it over and over and over again because we continue to live our life. And we don't get our goals usually the first instant that we set out to achieve them, right? That's why we're breaking them down into little pieces. Uh, so today, what is our assignment? What is our action item? It's to determine how are you going to know if you made progress or not toward your goal? How do you how do you know if you're moving toward it, away from it, or staying the same? And pick anything. Mine is, how, how does it make me feel? If I feel positive, I feel like I'm making progress. If I feel negative in any way, I feel like I'm not making progress. But you have to decide what works for you. And again, to me, the easiest thing is if I can find a way to get a result or measure it, then it's easy because either I got the result or I didn't. Either I can measure how much closer I am to the goal or not. Certain goals, certain type goals are easier to measure than others. <coughs> and some are subjective and we just have to go based on how do we feel, what does my gut or my intuition tell me about it. Any questions on this? Hit me up. We are going to be covering the SOAP framework a lot this year. We'll cover it at least 12 times in depth. We'll break it down with the S, the O, the A, and the P so we can practice it in each of the different areas of the life framework. And I think I decided yesterday we're going to hop into emotional well-being. I like to usually start off when I'm doing anything personally with physical well-being, but because it's easy, it's physical. It's like physics, right? You can touch it, you can feel it, you can measure it really easily. But I think since it's February and the month of love, we'll start with emotions. And the truth is, our emotions are where everything begins. It's how our, our body and our mind and everything sense things. So we're going to start with emotion next month. We'll dive deep into emotional goals, emotional well-being. Every day we'll do one thing every day that moves us toward what we want. Any questions? Hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. And start thinking about how you know, and you might as well just think about emotions. Think about what you did yesterday. Did it move you toward your goal or away from your goal? And then start thinking about emotions and emotional goals. And I guess we're going to talk about emotional intelligence and all kinds of topics along that line. All right. Have a great day. I will, of course, be with you tomorrow. Bye. We'll do something that helps you get what you want.